Hello, welcome everybody. I want to thank everybody for tuning in and just coming to hear what thus said the Lord. Um, I want to speak to the people that meet people and begin to build them up. And when I say build them up, not building them up for eternal life, not building them up in Christ, not, you know, telling them things that's going to get them in heaven, but building them up in a way where they can have a place in the world where they can be worldly, building them up as far as, you know, um, jobs, cars, you know, uh, finances. You got people, women and men that are taking on relationships where they are providing everything. And then the person in return does not respect them or is not grateful for what they've done. And then they go off and utilize what you have put into them and share it with the next person and then forget about you. And what God wants us to do is move in wisdom. It's okay to exhort a person. It's okay to put a person on to give them resources to help them. But we're getting to the point where we put so much into other people and building them to that we don't have anything. We don't have anything. So if anything was to happen and the person was to leave or abandon the relationship, marriage, you have nothing to fall back on yourself because you have put everything that you had, all your resources into that person. Instead of building that person or teaching that person how to build themselves on the rock, which is Jesus Christ. You know, and a lot of times we don't do that. So this word is for that person. We're in Jude chapter one, and I'm going to go to verse 17. This is the amplified version. But as for you, beloved, remember the prophetic words spoken by the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ. They used to say to you, in the last days, there will be scofflers falling after their own ungodly passions. Okay. <clears throat> Verse 19. These are the ones who are agitators, causing division, worldly minded, secular, unspiritual, corner, merely sensual, unsaved, devoid of the spirit. So these are the type of people that usually we help that, you know, that run off on us. Okay. But moving down to verse 20, but you beloved, build yourself upon the foundation of your most holy faith, continually progress, rise like an Ephes higher and higher the Holy Spirit and keep yourself in love of God, waiting anxiously and looking forward to mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ, which will bring you to eternal life. OK, verse 22 and have mercy on some who are doubting, save others, snatching them out of the fire and on some have mercy, but with fear loathing even the clothing spotted and polluted by their shameless and moral freedom. So there are some that God is saying, snatch them from the pits of hell by the truth, which means tell them the truth. You know, help them by telling them the truth. Um, Build them on the foundation of Jesus Christ as being Lord and Savior. So a lot of time we got to confuse. When you see that you are building a person in the flesh, the flesh is going to be pretty much materialistic stuff. Things that we uh, want in the world or things that the world make us feel like we should have. When you're building a person in the spirit, you're going to be leading them into having eternal life with Jesus Christ. You're going to be putting them on to the things of God. You're going to be putting them on on how to let go of certain things and to live in the spirit. You're going to be telling them about the spirit. You're going to be encouraging them and building them spiritually. And we get it mixed up. So number one thing is when you're dealing with people, even with the relationship you're in right now, because I know I'm talking to people that are in the body of Christ. With the relationship you're in right now, how much of yourself are you building? How much are you neglecting yourself to build for somebody else? That you're making sure that they have everything that they need to go off in this world and be good. Okay? But half of the time, you're doing that for them and you don't have anything to go off in the world and be good. Only thing that you really have is your relationship with God. And that's really all you need. But that same relationship that you have, that's what they need to be in introduced to. They need to be building upon a foundation on the rock of God, going through Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. So that's how we need to be building relationships with all people that come into our life, not setting them up to uh, be in this world and uh, progress in a fleshly way, in a carnal way, in a worldly way. So I love you and I pray that this finds the people that love to take on a project. And a project, to, like I said, to make people look good in the world and for the world, but not for eternal life, not for the kingdom of God. Amen.